Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to make the beer phosphate. Ah, another one of our cocktails that is really going to aggravate people. Oh yeah. We're going to make a cocktail out of perfectly good beer. Yes. But it's going to add more to it. Yes. So it's, um, you know, there's a lot of drinks that we make that uh, it adds more complexity, where normally it's something you shouldn't mix, but... It works plus, out really good. Plus, it makes it more fun. It does. It makes it a lot more fun. Yeah. So, this is kind of in tradition of our, um, our rye bock. Yes. Which we take a bock beer and uh, mix that with a really good rye. Mm hmm. Um, it's also, we got a beer mosa. Yes. So, those are some other great uh, cocktails that you, can, that you can check out. So, yes. Plus, it echoes our phosphate drinks. Yes. Which like also, our, you can look at those. We've got some yes. like great cherry things. phosphate. Mm hmm. I forget the others right now, but they'll come to me. Yeah. Because it's like turning an adult beverage into something you would have at the soda fountain when you were yeah. six. You just walk up and be like, hey, jerk, Yeah. get me a soda. Hey, jerk. <laughs> I still say that when I go to a bar, but I don't, I don't get very good service for some reason. Why I yeah, I don't think they know what you mean, and some people watch them and feel like, what the, why'd you guys call that guy a jerk? But I love this because uh, it, it's got a lot of complexity. It adds more to it. Um, we're going to use a uh, stout beer yep. that uh, it's got a, a lot of complexity already to it. It's got some smokiness to it. The one that we're using here today, uh, it was aged in bourbon barrels. Yes. So it gives it a lot of that smoky flavor. And you have to like a, uh, a stout beer to enjoy this drink. Mm -hmm. And if you like a stout beer, you're going to hate seeing us pour all this crap into the founder's Kentucky bourbon stout. Right. But we're adding raw candy syrup because it's going to give it some sweetness. So we get the we get all the complexities already from the beer. We get the sweetness from the raw candy syrup. And then we get a neutral sourness from the from the phosphate. Right. That's the phosphate. So. Okay. Let's make it. Yeah, let's make it. We're going to start with four ounces of the stout beer. Now, the most common stout beer would be Guinness, right? Mm -hmm. And that's a nice beer. But you want something here with a little more complexity to it, a little more pizzazz. So there's all sorts of stout beers now that are flavored in particular ways. So find something that's a little bit exotic, a little more flavorful. It's gonna make this beer really pop. Okay, we're gonna do one half teaspoon of acid phosphate, and that's about 10 drops, but we'll measure it out nonetheless. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, exactly. Wow, you're pretty good. I know. And then uh, a half ounce of the rock candy syrup. You can use a rich, simple syrup, but like Phil said, this gives it a little zing with a little bit of vanilla flavoring to it. Mm -hmm. We're just going to pour all these right into our beer glass. The beer is chilled, the acid phosphate is chilled. The rock candy syrup is not. And then we're going to add um, three dashes of bitters. We're going to use either Fee Brothers Old Fashioned Bitters, or if you can find their Whiskey Barrel Aged Bitters, mm -hmm. we'll use that. This is our Whiskey Barrel Aged one. Three dashes, one, two, three. And just a little bit of a swirl. And there you have your delicious beer phosphate. Enjoy. Cheers.